I think that that's something that's really special about Pi Ranch. They've created this mini ecosystem within our larger ecosystem we all exist in. And if the conditions are right within that ecosystem for everyone to play their unique part, but to really contribute together in this very meaningful way that's leading towards you know, transformational change. I've had this feeling like a lot of us that our food system is broken, our education system is broken. You know, I think we're all looking for ways to fix it. And coming down here, I think I, what I really felt was, this isn't just a possibility, this is what's really happening here. Kids are learning and great food is being produced and that there's this incredible connection and community down here. So the mission of Pie Ranch, to reconnect people to their food and a greater number of people to their food. You see it through their three programs so beautifully. You see it as they're educating young people, bringing them to the farm. You see it as they're educating the next generation of farmers. And you see it as they're thinking about what the landscape looks like going forward and with their land access work. When you take all of that together, you see that Pi Ranch is really pushing for systemic change in our food system. It's a unique place because in addition to having a really wide variety of crops, they also have all these other elements like animals and direct marketing. They have a farm stand and a CSA and they do events. And there's pie. Yeah. <laughs> pie Ranch provides an educational experience to kids that they would not get in any other way. Uh, they get to plant, they get to harvest, they get to eat, they get an understanding of how the earth actually works. It's just so fun out here. You get to enjoy nature, do a little bit of work, and eat. So you can just go like this and hold, like, hold, hold it, it to the side and put the potato in. We just got started and I have a feeling I'm gonna be sweating a lot more than I am now <laughs> by the time we get halfway. <laughs> they encourage you to become like, not, not like a big change in the world, but at, but at least in your own life. Even though we come from a different background, different places, we come here and we get together as a, as a group, as a family. The stuff I learned in these two days, I would probably never learn in my whole life if I didn't come here. At Pie Ranch, we are training new farmers so that they can go out there with the skills and concepts and passion needed to transform the food system. And so their role in terms of training the next generation of farmers to be good stewards for the land, to grow organic food, to be able to make a living is, I think, incredibly important. I've been here for eight months almost now, and you think, okay, my knowledge is gonna plateau. Nope, I just keep learning and learning and learning. It still would dry down and that wouldn't affect, it shouldn't affect the quality of the, of the wheat. I am successfully running uh, my own farm with two partners, and uh, Pie Ranch was critical to where I am at now. It's not just you know learning how to plant a seed in the ground and care for it, but it's also about how you care for your community and um, and build a better one together. We see this next generation of farmers coming in. And these are people who have a new approach to farming that's very integrated. And they're popping up all over the place and it's this growing momentum, a critical mass, you know. And I want to make sure that they stay here. <laughs> so land access, particularly for new farmers, is going to be a really important policy initiative that we need to work on. We don't know all the details, we don't know exactly what we need to do or the mechanisms and how that is going to happen. But it's something that's really important and I know uh, Jared at Pie Ranch is at the forefront of trying to get this done. Just like we need protected park space for our psychological well-being and be able to play and recreate, we need to preserve that um, productive farmland so that we know that we have that resource to provide uh, our communities with the food that it needs. We want good food, we're asking for good food, and the only way that we're going to be able to have it is if this land and the San Mateo Corridor is preserved. It's our responsibility as food educators, as farmers, to make it happen. And we have to make it happen. Welcome to Pie Ranch! Every month at Pie Ranch, we host a community work day and a potluck and a barn dance. It just taps into that desire for people to celebrate. The uh, 
uh, history of the uh, Steele brothers is very significant, not just for San Mateo County, but for California. There are still buildings that are reminiscent of the family, and uh, because of that, there's a priority in that they would be preserved. The last Steele family member to live in this house was Catherine Steele, and her husband, Will Steele, was born in this house and he died in the house. And his dying wish was that the house and the surrounding buildings and the land around it be preserved for the public to come and breathe the air of the Pioneer West. Fast forward to now, Pi Ranch, we have that chance to restore this as a real working farm. This is an incredible gem of a uh, piece of land. It's got these old, beautiful, historic buildings that are in need of repair, and we feel like we can not only help keep them alive, but repurpose them to serve this bigger vision around food system change. In our short amount of time, we've been able to serve a number of people here at Pi Ranch. But we feel like with just a bit more investment into the infrastructure, we can serve a lot more. The role that they have with both the teaching and demonstrating, and at the same time providing a good product, is really the model for the future. Pi Ranch is such a shining example of integrating all kinds of concerns in the farming enterprise. And I just, it's just so satisfying, so deeply satisfying to me to see that happening. The more we can invest in places like Pi Ranch, the more we're all going to benefit in terms of a food supply that is healthy, sustainable, and uh, going to be there for a long time. I look forward to the day when most of the food that we consume comes from places that we know. You know and if we can help in, one, in whatever little way um, to make that come about, that's our. That's our goal.